function declaration function expression and arrow function these are three types of functions in javascript so let's now start by a simple function declaration so a simple function declaration goes like this you use the function keyword and then you give it a name for example i'm just going to say say my name and then you pass this parenthesis and then this code block and here you write your logic so i'm going to comment you write your logic and then you just call this function like this okay and for example i'm just going to say console.log subscribe okay and if i save you see the output here subscribe right so this is a very simple example of function declaration so always remember function declaration is very simple you just use the function keyword you give it a name and then this code block and this entire thing becomes a function declaration so when you declare function using the literal function keyword this is function declaration on the other hand we have something called as function expression so function expressions are a value yes actually function expressions stores function as its value so always remember that in javascript programming language functions are actually value this might be confusing but don't worry just remember this thing functions are values so whenever you have a value you can store that to a variable so if i say let and uh, let's say shout my name equals to a function and then this part here so this entire part is an example of function expression so always remember that a function expression is nothing but a literal function value that is saved to a variable and i'm just going to take all of this comment here gonna paste it gonna indent it perfectly so that it look visually clean and then i can call this function the way we called say my name okay and then when i save the script you see this output okay so you can see the clear difference between a function declaration the top one and a function expression the bottom one okay so a function expression is nothing but a variable that has function as the value now another type of function that we have in javascript is arrow function so this is one of the confusing concepts in javascript and uh, beginner find it very confusing to understand but i'm going to simplify everything so an arrow function is just a syntactical sugar over this function expression so in arrow function you also declare a variable uh, let's say const okay i'm gonna say const and i will name it greet so this is the name of the function okay so const greet equals to now what goes here is little different than what goes here so here you can see here we have declared this function okay so let me copy all of this from here and i'm gonna paste it now let's convert this entire function expression into an arrow function so always remember that function expression and arrow function looks identically same but there is just simple difference and that difference is that in arrow function you do not have this function keyword you just have an arrow and that too between the parentheses and then this open braces okay here you can see we have function right but when you get rid of this function and after the parenthesis you just write an arrow this becomes an arrow function so let me quickly shift that back to a good example of function expression and here we will work with fun with arrow function okay so now i'm just going to call it and when i save this you see the output subscribe so so we have three types of function let me just go zoom out a little bit so we have three types of functions and all of them are printing the same value now let's enhance this arrow function little bit more so there is a concept called accepting parameters so functions accept parameters so we can pass some parameters from here like a and b and then these are local variables inside this function and then you can use them here so here i can say console dot log a plus b okay and then you can ask okay so where does the value of a and b comes from so that value 
comes from here you pass that value as the form of argument and you can do that here as well you can pass a and b in these parentheses as well so here i'm just going to pass 12 and uh, 10 okay and so if i save this you'll see 22 okay so what happens is that this 12 was assigned to this a this 10 was assigned to this p and so here we have said that console.log a plus b so 12 plus 10 turned 22 or i can say evaluated to 22 right now you can see let me just get rid of this one okay now this is or let me just simply comment all of this and i'm gonna duplicate this entire function because i want to show you something so what you can do is that you can enhance this arrow function see functions not always consoles something but sometimes functions returns as well so here i'm just going to say return i i'm just going to say hello plus or here i'm just going to take name and age as parameter and let me just use a template string i'm gonna say um, what let's say hello name john or here we'll have to pass name not the literal name value and then uh, your age is dollar age okay and uh, from here we have to pass the name i'm gonna call it john and then his age would be somewhere around 28 okay now we just have to save this to a variable because whenever a function returns something you save the value to a variable because this entire function name has this return value assigned to it so here i'm just going to say what uh, what output i'm just going to say output equals to greet and now i can say console.log output if i save you see hello john your age is 28 okay now always remember that when you have just single return statement in your code block what you can do is that you can omit these braces so you can just get rid of these braces and you can just write all of them on the same line and you can get rid of this return keyword okay and that's it manually here you have to write this return if you are using a code block you'll have to write a return but if you have just single return statement just do this okay and then get rid of this return as well so this is a simple example of arrow function see this is still working the same now also also remember one thing is that here we are passing multiple parameters but if you have only one parameter for example let me get rid of this age here and i will get rid of this age from here as well okay so what you can do you can get rid of this parenthesis as well okay see and then from here just get rid of the age because we are not using it anymore and you see that this is also working okay so see this is the long form of an arrow function and this is how we enhanced it okay so this is difference between function declaration function expression and an arrow function this is confusing i know but trust me if you watch this again you will understand it so let me elaborate this function arrow function little bit more see what we did is that here when we have two parameters name and age we wrapped the parameters inside this parenthesis but when we just have one parameter when we are working with just one parameter we can get rid of these parentheses as well and then we can just simply write name return us name see this is same as saying return return but with this block okay so you can say like this okay so this is same but if you just have only one return statement you can just get rid of these blocks and it will work fine okay now, now you can ask why do we only need to have one return statement now sometime what happens is that you need to write some extra logic from here and then you return something in that case you will need these blocks only and only if you have single return statement inside your code block you can omit these braces and then this return keyword and then just write everything in a single line and this will in turn return you the text hello world so whatever you want this arrow function 
to do so this is simple difference now one more difference that we have is that function declaration are actually hosted so if i print the function above where it is declared so it is declared on line 6 but we are calling it on line 5 so if i save you will see that we are getting the output but if i try to do the same thing with function expression it will not work you see it says a reference error cannot access sort my name before initialization and uh, error functions will also not work so let me comment this out or let me just access this output here if i save this you see it says cannot access okay i'll have to comment this part here okay if i save it says cannot access output before initialization so error functions are also not hosted well this is kind of confusing because uh, uh, error functions sometimes acts weirdly but uh, this all concept that i just talked about like uh, we are calling this function above where it is declared and then i talked about that error function can also not be accessed like that this all term has a meaning which is called as hoisting now in this video i'm not going to talk about hoisting because it will confuse you further so let's keep it till here and i will see you in the next one do make sure to like and if you find these explanations very easy to follow do make sure to subscribe as well i keep publishing such short contents very often well this was not short but i hope this has been making sense so far i'm gonna see you in the next one till then stay safe happy coding